Okay, so what I thought I would uh, talk about um, now is some kind of basic optimization stuff for um, for iOS and for Unity. So um, when we first uh, started this project, what we were doing was making kind of individual textures for each element. So if I just jump into Photoshop here, you can see some of the like different textures that we uh, that we've been using. Some of them more complete than others. Obviously, it's not one we actually use at the moment, to be fair. Um, now, this is fine using kind of different textures like this, but um, one problem we have in terms of optimization is for every texture, um, every time it appears on a model, it would call it in as an individual material and texture, which leads to a hell of a lot of draw calls, which uh, can lead to a lot of slowdown. So uh, something I've been doing over the last um, in the last day is consolidating all of the um, textures onto one large texture plate. So um, this is actually a 4096 image here. We call this an atlas. It's called an atlas because um, everything, all the texture work used in the game, appears on onto uh, onto this one kind of big worksheet and um, this can be called into the game either in code by using pixel coordinates so uh, obviously we can use a grid to do that so I really like so um, let's turn on our, our grid here so you can use a grid to get specific coordinates because it's all to power of 2 um, this means though that when the game loads the level, it will just load in this one giant texture. So you can see we've got the wall over here, we've got the floor over here, we've got the rocks, different wood, and various different floor tiles. Now you can see it's also useful because um, you can uh, kind of judge what else you're going to have in the game and give that some rough texture space so it kind of helps you plan out uh, plan out what is going to go kind of where and where you're going to use your texture space like I did this quite um, a little bit roughly and um, now I look at it I think I could definitely trim some of this stuff down even further so uh, you know that's something I can do as I gradually go along like also having some spare space like I have over here is really useful but if we jump back into unity we can see that we've just got this T atlas material and now that can pretty much be applied to like every every asset in the scene. So uh, like there you can see this walls is using Atlas. Um, go on LU corn here, you'll find the same again. So if we go on to well these are calling in all the nodes unfortunately, so I can't show you, but that one there you can see that's using tier atlas as well. So it massively saves on the amount of uh, draw calls that you're doing. Um, so obviously there is one mild disadvantage to this and I'll see if I can quickly show you that. So if we just load up this level here. Um, yes, yeah, so if we look at one of our um, tile pieces, you'll see one thing you need to make sure you do is because um, nothing can tile along one one piece anymore. So like if I just drop in a, a new plane model here, make this larger, and reduce this down, and then assign our Atlas material. Uh, one thing I can't do anymore is tile a single poly repeatedly. I can't do that anymore because you can see if the tiling was um, If I wanted to say have this wall tiling four times along this poly, I can no longer do it because obviously I'm not going to be able to tile anyway. So the way I have to tile now is by uh, just subdividing the mesh. So although this adds in a adds in a couple of tries, like so, it's still a massive saving in the kind of number of draw calls. So you can see I can tile it four times now because I've got four four polys. So yes I've added a few tries to the model 
to be able to tile it, but the saving in terms of draw calls is is massive. So it's much more beneficial to do it um, to do it this way. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's using an atlas for your textures and how you kind of get around this issue of uh, of tiling.